Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Michael Gray, and today I'm showing you how to get all the awards at the end of the game when you're playing Nancy Drew, The Haunting of Castle Malloy. You can get a Super Sleuth Award when you're talking to Kyler. I found these glasses in the fireplace in the nursery. Those are mats. You what you have to do fireplace. is you have to talk Did to Kyler about Matt. The mat? Of course not. Why would we look in the fireplace? Matt never, ever took his glasses off. Mostly because without them, he can't see two feet in front of him. I'll uh, show you what I mean in a second here. Did he have an extra pair? It's possible. Any normal person with eyesight as bad as his would have had ten extra pairs. But how did those get broken? Oh, Nancy, maybe he truly is in trouble. Well, let me do some more looking around before we jump to any conclusions. The glasses could still just be part of an elaborate, practical joke. You're absolutely right. Please find him, Nancy. I do so want to strangle him. Specifically, you have to talk about Matt's glasses, which I just showed you. You have to talk about Matt's luggage. And you have to talk about the little doll of so Matt of that the banshee left in the start of the game. Oh, right? Me, I'm fine. My car, my cell phone, uh, not so good. And I'm pretty sure whomever I saw dropped this. Looks like See? There you go. You have the little doll of Matt that the banshee dropped. You can get an award for uh, shearing all the sheep. Basically, if you shear ten or so sheep, you get an award for being a styling shearer. You get the uh, Thirst Quencher Award if you uh, do the uh, making drinks over seven different times in the game. Of course, mixing all those drinks gets you a lot of tokens, which will help you play Difference Detective. You get the Eagle Eye Award if you win every single level of Difference Detective. The tokens come in handy so you can buy a bunch of fortunes. You get the Fortune Seeker Award if you ask for 15 or more fortunes. That would be over 45 tokens. Don't take any wooden nickels! You can get the Ace Flyer Award for using the jetpack eight times, which means when you go around flying with the jetpack, if you land and get back up in the air eight times, you get an award. You can get the Chemist Sorter Award if you put every chemical away correctly. That's pretty self-explanatory. The Dollhouse Arranger Award is very easy. Just stick a doll in every room of the dollhouse, then check it, and you'll get an award at the end of the game. When you're uh, playing the dart game, you can get an Easter egg if you get four bullseyes in a row. There's one. There's two. Three, four, then you miss three shots. One, two, three, and then you hit one. All right. And there you go, you get an Easter egg for that. You can get an Easter egg here. When you go to the stone puzzle, turn the stones this way. The first one twice, the second one three times, the third one once, then you're going to move all three of them four times. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This gets you a special math problem with leprechaun math. See, this equals three, this equals six, you can tell that because this is 3 and this is 6, 3 plus 6 equals 9, this 1 must equal 9. Do that sort of math in order to figure out what all the various leprechaun symbols mean in uh, numbers.
So, you use that information when you're playing with the leprechauns. Because we have a certain number that corresponds to each of the leprechauns. So you need to set the leprechauns at that number. This one is 6, so let's set him at 6 o'clock. This one is 9, so he goes at 9 o'clock. This one's at 6 o'clock. This one's at 3 o'clock. This one's at 12 o'clock. This one's at 9 o'clock. And this one is at 12 o'clock. And this gets you the fancy Easter egg. Ooh, fun! You get a third Easter egg for solving the fourth doll puzzle. Now you get this puzzle by inserting uh, the word lap in. Onto this chest that's in the tower. Insert the word lap in here and you get the fourth doll puzzle. And when you solve the doll puzzle, You can get the Leprechaun Spinner Award by uh, spinning the leprechauns. Um, it's either you get it by spinning each leprechaun ten times, or you spin the leprechauns seventy times altogether. I'm not quite sure which. So I'll just do both right here. And like I said, this is all you have to do in order to get the uh, Leprechaun Spinner Award at the end of the game. You can get a Master Printer Award by playing with the colors. What you have to do is you have to print each plate with each color. So basically what you do is, uh, this time I'm doing magenta. I'm going to print a, a piece of paper with all four plates having been colored the color magenta. Then I do the same for cyan, yellow, and for black. And that's what you have to do in order to get the Master Printer Award. And each time you're finished with the uh, piece of paper, just stick it right here in the shredder. And just do that for all four uh, colors, like I said, and that gets you the Master Printer Award. And the last one is the trivia question at the end of the game. You can save here and uh, answer the question again if you get it wrong the first time. And as you can see, I get all the awards, but that's not all you get. It also gets you all the stars on Nancy's badge at the end of the credits. And that means you get to see all of the game's bloopers at the end of the ending credits.